Hi, my name is Rosanna. I am 51 years old, a mother of four, and today I would love to share with you the secret of how you could transform your body into a fortress of athleticism and energy. Yes, even in your 50s. First, let me tell you the story of how my love affair with health and fitness start. When I was 18, quick solutions seemed to be the best alternatives. What could be better than getting fit quick, right? In my quest to look perfect, I remember I tried so many diets, from counting calories to not eating much. I even remember a time when I stopped eating for 10 days to fit in a dress. Imagine that. Of course, my favorite diets were the extreme ones, low fat and low carb. But after too many trials and too many bounce backs, I began, began to realize nothing was really working. I certainly wasn't achieving my physical goals, but more concerning to me was that I felt as if I was failing. At 22, I became a first-time mom. Achieving this milestone changed my perspective on health and fitness. Not only I realized I had to step up my game, after all, it wasn't getting easier. But more importantly, I questioned myself about the type of habits that I was going to transfer to my children. So I decided to chase a different journey, a journey that would teach me how to look good and feel good. During the next 25 years, my core expertise became this new healthy lifestyle. I went out into the world and started researching, reading, studying. Little by little, I began to fall in love with becoming the healthiest version of myself. Only then, after 20 years of living this lifestyle and seeing how people dealt with the same issues that I went through in my 20s, I became a health advocate. Naturally, through my social media platforms, I was trying to share my knowledge based on my nutrition and fitness journey, but I was falling short. I felt the need to help more people pursue healthy lives. So I became a health coach, wrote a book about nutrition and health, published SANA, a magazine focused on health and fitness, became a certified personal trainer, founded a brand that offers healthy alternatives like protein, ice cream, and stevia in Ecuadorian supermarkets, created my fitness mornings that have brought together more than 4,000 attendees to date, and even built a digital platform that allowed me to share with people my recipes, nutrition tips, and personal daily fitness routines. Yes, as you can see, it took me a long time and a lot of work to realize that a get fit quick plan or a one size fit all solution wouldn't work. Did you know that 45 million Americans start new diets each year and they spend $33 billion on weight loss products to help them? Or did you know that a substantial portion of this billion dollar industry is based on one size fits all health tips? These tips or get fit quick solutions are everywhere in the market. How many times have you seen famous people promoting diets on Instagram? The online pitch usually being, here's how I got this body. These are the supplements I took. This is the diet that works. It worked for me, it can work for you. And because we aim to look like that, we are subconsciously tricked into buying those supplements and following that same diet. But these pitches usually lack substance and most of the time, they do not deliver the promised results. The clearest example of one size fits all health advice is the diet of the moment. 
scientists at the Variadic Medical Institute and the National Institute of Health have done studies which conclude that different popular diets do not produce long-term results for dieters, or, for that matter, clinically meaningful improvements in their weight. To put it simply, different diets produce the same outcomes, and those outcomes are disappointing. Take a look at this graph. This graph shows the study of low-fat and low-carb diets done in overweight people. At the beginning of these two curves, we can see how people lose a few kilos in the first six months and then plateau, meaning people will reduce weight in their short term and slowly regain it back. When it comes to eating, one size does not fit all. And that is exactly what we should expect from weight research, given how unique our human bodies are. Negative effects of one-size-fits-all solutions go beyond weight loss or lack of thereof. These get-fit-quick get solutions can also affect our health. In a 2015 study, researchers for the Personalized Nutrition Project at the Weizmann Institute of Science found that the same foods cause different blood sugar rises in different people. This graph illustrates two different individuals' blood sugar levels after eating bananas and cookies. Person A is on top and person B is on the bottom. Their reactions to the same foods are almost complete opposites. Research like this suggests that when it comes to our health, as was in the case of our weight, one size does not and cannot fit all. So where does that leave us? Not because there isn't a fixed plan to help us means that there's no answer for achieving weight loss and health. The National Weight Control Registry has over 10,000 participants with an average weight loss of 66 pounds that have managed to successfully lose weight and keep it off. You know what makes it incredible? The fact that everyone succeeded in different ways. Out of the whole group, 45% of the participants in the registry created their own wellness plans. The other 55% got help from different structured plans. The common fact was no single program emerged as especially helpful, and most people had to try multiple diets to lose weight. Again, one size did not fit all. The scientists and obesity experts that I've talked about today think that the key to getting healthier is customization, and I agree. Some of the best weight loss programs in the world start people on the same diet, and then they encourage them to diverge from it whenever something isn't working. These moments of customization help find the right nutrition program for each individual. In other words, what works for me, a mother of four with a unique work schedule, a unique community, and a unique body, will likely not work for you. Health plans are more than just calories in, calories out. For success, we need plans that are tailored, not just to our bodies, but also to our schedules and our environment. A tailored plan will help us feel fulfilled, happy, less stressed, and will also help us avoid burning out and overeating. So, how can we incorporate this research on our daily plans? How do we move away from one-size-fits-all health advice? In order to find your custom plan, I encourage you to think about the following. First, rethink your questions. Replace simpler questions for complex questions. What do I mean with this? Ask yourself, how do I want my body to feel? How much time can I devote to my fitness goals? What is my main motivation for working towards becoming healthier? These questions are complicated and 
essential. But if you are not careful, you will naturally substitute them for simpler ones. Questions like, what did Carly Claus do to get legs like that? Second, redesign your search. Some of the advice you will find on Instagram or in magazines will be accurate, but it won't be tailored to your body. When you go searching for health strategies, remember what we have discussed today and try aiming for personalized advice. Consult people that know you and know about the subject, like your physician, a nutritionist, or a health coach. The more personalized your health advice, the better it will be. And finally, redefine your terms. As discussed earlier, a diet as a get-fit quick solution doesn't work. What you need is a long-term personalized health plan that develops over time. Through trial and error, you can adjust the strategy and improve the results. Remember, the goal is to aim for a healthy lifestyle filled with happiness. At the very beginning, I told you I wanted to share with you the secret of looking the way I do at 51. Unfortunately, getting fit and being healthy is a product of many years of trial and error. It has taken me over 25 years and counting to find what works for me. The secret to our path, if there's any, is to remember that there are no shortcuts or one fits all. When it comes to getting healthier, what works for me won't work for you. But that isn't a dead end. It is just the beginning. Thank you for your time.